Hey guys, what I'm showing you here is a Tom Crane reground Cali 3 uh, with the ZDP steel. This was an informal test of mine. I just wanted to try it on my reground Cali 3. This was done about three years ago. So uh, what you're looking at is about a five degree edge, or that's what the Edge Pro said. So uh, anyways, I bottomed out the Edge Pro and this was already a super thin knife. So I wanted to see if it would chip and it did without the micro bevel so what you're looking at are the chips in the blade I was cutting cardboard uh, different rope and stuff like that so I blew that edge out but mind you this is already a thin knife and that edge is laid way back so uh, I wanted to push it to its limit let it break and chip up and show you what the chips and the failure looks like this is not Spyderco's fault not ZDP's fault just me pushing the limits and this next picture coming up soon, I'm still showing the edge damage here, I guess, It'll be the next picture, um, is when I put a micro bevel on. A micro bevel adds stability to your edge, so you can have a super low angle and still be stable. It's going to be in the next few pictures up, you got to hold with me. So uh, I've been using micro bevels for years. They just uh, help sharpen because you hit only the very edge and uh, after I show you these slides here I'm going to uh, bring you down to my notepad and show you exactly what's going on with a micro bevel just wanted to show you some of these pictures here of the failure but I mean I gotta stress how low this blade was and how I had it reground so right there is my micro bevel so that removed all my chipping that put a wider angle at the very edge of the knife which made my edge really stable after this I could go cut three wall um, three ply cardboard and you know it was fine you wouldn't want to put any kind of twisting motion in your cut but as long as you were doing straight you know slicing cuts or push cuts even uh, this blade is great kinda sad I traded it off but you know few years ago and you know just wanting to get my hands on every knife I could and test every steel that I could and all that so uh, the, the knife was very very stable with that micro bevel on it alright I'm gonna bring you down to the notepad so here we are <clears throat> I just start off with a cross section of the blade like you're looking at it this way just going to show you what a micro bevel and I guess I'll use a hollow grind. Uh, this is going to be highly exaggerated. So here's your main grind I guess on a Sebenza it would come straight up and then you'd have your round top spine. Right? So uh, your edge angle you can have it low like this. This is just a regular V edge. And uh, depending on how thick your V edge is here this can be very very stable but when you want to experiment like how I did in that the photos that I just showed you um, and you want your V edge you want to make your geometry cut a little better so well, I'll just start over again here 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 come down and here and your dome top alright so you actually can have a very very thin stable edge with the micro bevel so let's say we're gonna go low like low low right here okay this is lower than this as far as angle this is here this is sitting right here this might start chipping out. Um, I recommend micro bevels even if you're not chipping out just for the ease of sharpening because when you do have a micro bevel, let me first explain and show you what the micro bevel actually is. So it's actually if this this is just sharpened at this angle here a micro bevel is just one more angle but sharpened just a little bit out. So it makes the actual edge here at the, let's zoom in on this part right here so this is like this like this okay this is the zoomed in portion here 
the micro bevel actually chops this off like right here and right here and gets rid of this which is why in those photos you've seen that that um, was very stable afterwards and it got rid of that junk steel that was right here now I know this looks thick because I've exaggerated it so much but just imagine you're zoomed a few hundred times in um, so that's what a micro bevel does and in real world testing I've found and uh, a lot of other people have found that you cannot tell the difference between the way the micro bevel cuts and the way a straight V edge cuts now of course there will be variables if your V edge is extremely thin you know then and your you know I don't know there's just a bunch of different variables but for the this is just maybe 95 percent of the time this will fit uh, micro bevel cuts just as well as your normal V edge the two pluses huge pluses for me and why I use it is touch up okay like your uh, Spyderco sharp maker and stuff you're only touching that very micro bevel that's why you always want to sharpen with the higher um, setting what I mean by higher is the higher angle setting so normally if your sticks are you know straight up down like this sharpen at that the wider one I don't even have I haven't had a sharp maker in years I don't even know what the factory settings are um, because you'll just be creating a micro bevel on there or what some people call honing um, that's going to strengthen your edge and you're only removing this much steel so it's very easy to sharpen now a convex edge which could be a whole different video for me and my experiences have shown basically you just strop out the corners or you can do it on like a leather belt or you can do it on sandpaper or whatever you know so this is all a smooth round like kind of an apple seed shape um, that's about it so I'll show you what that looks like real world real quick I'm not gonna do a sharpening video wow this stone's dirty 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 stone and I don't have any room here I guess I'll just set it on top of my strop here just to create some room for the handle and my knife is super dirty that's an inside look at my. I keep my EDCs. There's crap all over it. I'll clean it before I put it away for the night, but whatever. So normally, normally, okay, sharpening the actual main bevel would be like this. If you can see that. And, uh, could be a whole nother video too. The 306 Spyderco stone is a great stone to learn how to freehand sharpen. Highly suggest that you pick one of these up even if you have a sharp maker because it buffs up the edge and gets it like a mirror so fast that uh, it's going to help you learn how to freehand. You can teach yourself how to freehand with just this stone. You know, Then you can build on your set from there. Um, short little rant. Anyways, so this is on your regular main edge. A micro bevel would be up just a little bit more. So instead of here, I'm here. It only takes a few, and when you're on your micro bevel, very light swipes. And you don't have to. Eventually, you'll just learn how to feel it. When you first start off sharpening up your micro bevel, you might you might want to alternate strokes like that and you're you're putting a little bit of pressure on but not much not as much as you do when you're here um, actually the less pressure you use on your micro bevel the better so if you want to spend enough time and you just want to skim the knife weight only over it you can do that you're not going to blow out your micro bevel you know that way but you can easily blow it out if you're at too much of an angle and you're pushing too hard your stone and these ceramic stones give great feedback so uh, you'll know when you're there I think if not send me a, a email or a PM or something maybe maybe I can help you through it or make another video um, so basically you also strop your micro bevels 
and I've showed this in my four part series of the, the hand sharpening uh, basically the big thing is you know strap your normal edge <laughs> obviously take it out of the pack <laughs> but anyways when you do your micro bevel just raise it up a little bit and go very light very light because I would rather you go too light on your micro bevel and uh, not really strop that micro bevel than to go too heavy if you go too heavy the strop the leather or whatever medium you're using even wood will compress and it wraps the strop with the media with the abrasive media on it say it's on top of my fingers around your edge and it goes like that and you'll actually dull your edge it's very easy to do on a micro bevel um, but I promise you you're going to uh, have a very stable edge uh, the micro bevel will allow you to lay your angle back a little more than you normally would and you can still go cut uh, thick stuff like thick plastics uh, real heavy duty ropes and stuff like that you know so hopefully this video helps somebody and uh, if you need anything more maybe put it in the comments and I'll make another video Try micro bevel if you're not. Um, just if not for the ease of touch up, because instead of you know running this whole whole edge here, you're running the very very tip. Every single stroke you're on that micro bevel. That's it, guys. I appreciate you hanging out with me. See ya.